Good morning, Fred Wagner here. Papa's painting tips, or Papa's biography. <laughs> Pyrography, I always say it wrong. Uh, as promised, I told some people that I would demonstrate how I am doing this skin texture. Sorry, I forgot to set up the iPad here so I could see my reference. Behind the times. <laughs> uh, that sounded funky. Don't look at my code. <laughs> okay, just getting this all set up, taking it off, shutting it off. There we go. Pull out my photos. There we go. We're all set. All right, now I've done a lot of work to make sure, yeah, down in the chin. Let's do, I'll do a little bit up here in the forehead. So you can see there's a dirty mark here from a sticker that was on this wood. This is a piece of poplar wood uh, sanded down with uh, 320 grit and then 800. I got my top chances burner. I made my own little spearhead because uh, the one was cracked and now when I was making it, this one's cracked a little bit down on the edge where the bend is. But it's not, it shouldn't affect it. I just, I like to use a spearhead shader tip. Now I got, I got about, I was burning yesterday with this one because it seems to be a little bit thicker wire. It wasn't pounded out as thin. I've got... The original one that came with the set, it's thinner, so it burns easier. But I got, right now I've got 47, and I'm going to see uh, if it's burning too too hot. I'll go to a dark area just to test it out. All right, I think that'll be good. I also got to go back in and touch up some of this lip, put in some of the finer details. I'll, I'll run the edge for a line a lot of times for a hairline. But anyways, let's go right here in the center between the eyes. So there's a lot of skin texture in this. A lot of uh, uh, pores. You can see a lot of pores. So they're mainly a round dot. So all I'm doing is touch and move at first. And I start like a stipple effect. I gotta be careful because if I if I lay my angle too steep on this burning tip, then I'll get a triangle burn. I don't want that. I just want the tip. I'm gonna build it up. Some are darker than others. I'll pay attention to that. Some are larger, like this one's a little bit larger. And I kind of play with it like this. All right, building up a stipple. All right. Now this is only gonna be a couple minute video. No need to go on with this because you'll get bored to death watching me do that. Right here, there's a there's a crease in his brow. All right. Now what I do is I call it, it's a figure eight move. I use it in airbrushing a lot when doing with skin texture. All right. You see now I've built up this little spot here. I don't go overboard going big huge areas because if I go too far then I might lose where I'm at. And also, I, I pay attention to the skin folds and the shape. Now, the figure eight is simply, I'm going to drop my temperature down a little because I don't want a big, uh, big black mark by mistake. Then I got to grind it out with my Dremel head. Uh, I'm going to go about 42, let this cool a second. Maybe touch it in another dark area just to take some of the head, get, uh, the heat off. And this is the figure eight. You go in a figure eight 
with the shader around the pores. All right, it's a little too, this tip burns a little lighter. So I'm gonna put it up back up at like 46, 45, 46, and it should be okay. And if you find your tip is getting too cold and you're not getting the burn going, feel the burn. Now just do kind of circular figure eight motion. This tip's a little grabby. I gotta sand it smooth around the bottom side. But I'll just keep going around like that. What it does, it, it opens up little pocket hole. You know what? Let's uh let's change this tip. Let's go to the other one. This one, I gotta I gotta sand that better. It's not working right. You could use a round tip shader also. Let's let's give it a shot. Let's see what a round tip does in there. I'm just gonna use the, the end of it. See, I find it's a little bit too big. If it was a little smaller. Well, that's at 37. It's not doing nothing. Let's go up to 40. Three, give it a second to heat up. And I kind of try to concentrate because I don't want to fill it all. This is shaded more in this area between his brows. I don't know if you can see anything. It's very slight. Let's go up a pinch more. 46. See where we're at. I'm gonna burn this a little heavier because that's a it's supposed to be blood coming down from one of the thorns in his brow. What a marvelous thing Christ did for us while we are yet sinners. He bore the guilt and shame. On the cross. All right. I just build this up slowly. Okay, it's not, I'm not seeing results with it, so I'm gonna go up to 47. I don't wanna go too far, because, yeah, see, now it's really burning. Now I got a little darker spot. All right. Just lightly touching, doing figure eights. Yeah, this will work okay. You want to leave some light areas in some dark. You don't want to fill it in completely. All right. Now... I don't want that line too heavy because it's not that dark. Now what I'll do after I get that is I'll go back in and say the overall tone compared to this darker areas. Okay, this has to be just a tad darker in here. So I'll lightly shade. Whoa, okay, that's way too dark. Ding, 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 ding. My bad. Well, I can show you how I fix that. And the only problem with this is that I've got an electric eraser here. You can use the smaller ones. I just have this head on it. Lightly take that off. Yeah, let's, I'm going to have to go too deep. That, see, that's what happens sometimes. You burn too deep. Right. This is a good little tool. This is one of my airbrush finds. What this is, 
It's a fiberglass. Mm. Now it's going to be stubborn and get stuck up in there. There we go. All right, come on. There we go. Sometimes this bugger gets stuck up in there and it's hard to get out. I got all kinds of tools that I have for airbrushing. There we go. All right. This is uh, fiberglass bristles. They're all stuck together. And they're hard. And as you scratch, you can wipe that. I use it for paint. What they're, the jewelers use it for is uh, cleaning the carbon and stuff, or the uh, copper. That seems to work pretty good in this. Can I clean off? I mean, I can incorporate that if I want to, but... I don't. I'm just going to take it right back. Now this glass does break off. So be careful. You can get it stuck. And I could hit that with some micro sandpaper. Which maybe I will. Try this. Clean that back up. Try to get it as best as I can. We'll work it in. <laughs> All right. Uh, one last resort. Trust the old X-Acto knife. You gotta get the right angle here. That can take the last of it out. The only thing is, is when you go to burn over this again, you're gonna have goofy lines. So what I will do is I will leave some of that spot still in there. Oh, at least this turned into something beneficial. It's a repair video. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I'm going to leave some of that burn in there because I need it. All right. This is another trick I use for doing highlights. See, that looks good to me. Good to go. Okay, just remember, this is a Germany Euro tool. Right there. Found it on eBay. Or not eBay, what am I saying? I found it on uh, Amazon. And I've got a whole bunch of different sizes in here. I've got steel ones, I got fiberglass, whatever works. I use these for airbrush mainly. So, back to this. All right, now that the other tip is cooled off, I'm going to switch to the other tip. I find it works better. And this one here. Make sure I put it in my... Are you in there? Good. Okay. I hope you're all recording. Yep. I switch my burner back over this one. The round one was just too hard to control for this burn. This one, this tip, this is the finer one. It uh, gets hotter faster. So I don't need it as high a voltage. 39, 40 is plenty. Right. Just do a couple more touches in here to repair that a little more. And truthfully, in here are a few more creases. 
So, anywho, so let's go up to a lighter area. 43. Seems to be on this tip. Okay, that's good. Just touch and move. Touch and move. Build those little pores up. And when okay, yeah, this one seems to get hotter easier from the voltage. So it's basically it's a stipple effect. Then I work in the figure eight again. This area doesn't need a lot of the shading. But there are a lot of micro pores up in his forehead. Now, yes, I definitely could use a ball tip to do this, a, a very small ball tip, but I don't own one. And I want to also experiment a couple darker ones now he's got another shading value up in here from creasing the forehead I'm just going figure eights around it it's hard to see I got my light glaring from outdoors and my lamp because I wanted it well lit for you guys to see. Now this is darker. This blood coming down. And it actually travels. I'm going to do the same thing. Because I want a similar shape. Because that blood would trail into the pores. There we go. Coming down in there. And this shadow actually comes up. He's got a nice eyebrow there. A lot of what aided me is, uh, I think, to catch on so quickly. Not just drawing with pencils and pens, but... Uh, Especially airbrush. Airbrush has a lot of techniques that can kind of transfer over. I can go in with my airbrush, add color if I wanted. I use an acrylic paint called ETAC EFX. It's a illustration paint made more with the ability to erase and scratch back into it. There's others out there. There's Createx illustration paint. There's Wicked Color by Createx. There's ETAC private stock. But this is wood burning. This ain't airbrushing. I know a lot of people add color with colored pencils. Right. Right now, I'm I'm just adding some more into his eyebrows because I don't have enough. And then this one here, this gets darker up higher. And just build that layer up until I feel it's right. I don't want to burn like I did in there. Which now I gotta add some detail in this. Another thing I notice is once you do burn that like that and repair it because there's a dent in the wood your shading doesn't work as well so you gotta watch your little edges and i'm just tapping tap 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 now on his nose his the pores are a lot finer on his so i didn't do a lot of tap and move his nose i just shaded now, overall, 
let's put this shadowy area into it. Because what that's going to do is it's going to take your dots that you already burned. It's going to burn them a little darker. And your shading value will work around it. That's just this little V shape. Then I look for different shapes within these pores. If you look at an orange peel, very similar textures as to compared but there you go. That's what I'm that's all I'm going to do for this video. So you can see what I've done in this little area here, building up the textures and and uh that but that's how I do it. The dot dot and move or whatever it is, stipple effect. Then I'll do my figure 8, then I'll do overall shading. Hey, okay? God bless y'all. It's appropriate, Jesus of Nazareth. You have a wonderful day, and uh, thanks for joining me. God bless.